Hey, what's going on guys? Deacon here in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the effect that you have just seen on screen. Before we get into the video, I'd just like to remind you guys to please do hit that like and that subscribe button if you end up enjoying the video, as it really does help me out quite a lot. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, let's get right into the video. Let me go ahead and readjust my mic here. Uh, I think that should be a whole lot better. So essentially, as you can see on screen right now, we have uh, sort of just a plain thing right here. And then we have some Twixter. Now, I have gone ahead and already rendered out my Twixter. Uh, essentially, what this means is I have just added the build up Twixter right here. It just gets slow where you want it to start getting slower. And then you have the impact right here. This should be very, very easy to do if you're what's it if you're familiar with Vegas whatsoever. Uh, essentially, it's just like regular velocity. You just apply it. And then you just add the Twixter, it slows down, and then it goes up right there. And then you just render it out and reapply it, or just drag it in again. And you do this because if uh, it acts sort of like an adjustment layer, it allows you to adjust stuff on top of the effect. And Twixter on Vegas Pro is a really weird sort of thing. So it's sort of something that you have to do. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get right into the effect here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just decide the area you want to slow down at the start for the item. So let's go and play this back a bit. Uh, hold on, let me go ahead and enable the music for you guys. It should be something like that. Let's go ahead and re-enable it here. So let's go ahead and split it right there. Let's go ahead and go to the half of this. This is 240. We're going to go to 120 right there. We split it. We delete this first half and then we go to the second half. We drag it back. We go to video effects tab. We search for Twixter Pro. Drag that on there and set the entire track to 50%. And then we drag this up. This is going to create a slow mo effect for this entire first start. And there will be no noticeable cut here. Uh, now, what we're going to want to do is just go ahead and drag in our ident. Uh, I've gone ahead and used one uh, from my recent video uh, that is going to be ident templates because it look more, it, it sort of looks more like Bjorn's one. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag this. I'm going to set it to unmatted. The link to this will be in the description as well. You can go ahead and use whichever ident you want, really. Uh, but yeah, this comes in just like that. Let's just go ahead and fade this in a bit with that and then it goes up uh now what i'm gonna go ahead and do is just go into video effects tab and search for magic bullet looks just go ahead and drag the default onto that video track uh now what we're gonna do is just click on edit and apply this preset right here now this preset will be in the description it's called purple haven uh so just go ahead and drag that on there now it doesn't look exactly like the one bjorn uses i'm just gonna go ahead and control z that actually uh until uh here and i'm gonna go ahead and add a new video track i'm gonna go ahead and control or we're gonna press u here we're gonna control this up and we're gonna set the opacity to about 50 percent roughly drag default on there edit uh and uh hold on let me go ahead and set this to 100 percent opacity hopefully just like that let's go ahead and just actually uh correct the ident once again and here we go. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because we can adjust the actual strength of the magic bullet looks this way so that it doesn't look quite as overwhelming as it did originally. I'm going to go ahead and add some glow to this because I think it'll look much better. Uh, sort of like that, I guess. But you can go and use whichever magic bullet looks filter you want. There's plenty of packs on YouTube or whatever. Uh, and I will have a link to some in the description as well if you don't quite uh, like this one. Uh, but yeah, we have this. I'm going to go ahead and add a voice tag as well, because just why not, really? Uh, Bjorn uses one. I'm going to go ahead and add one as well. It's just there. Let's go ahead and drag the volume up there. And now what we're going to go ahead and do is just add a beat shake here. So you can use whichever beat shake you want. I have a couple free ones in the description that are, are linked. Uh, so you can go ahead and get those if you don't already have one. But yeah, there's a beat shake and that stops. And then now we go up into the Twixter part here. So let's go ahead and play this part back uh, so you can sort of know what you're expected to have. Okay, so once you've got that, you want sort of these uh, orange parts. Now you want to place the f uh, the the one the, the marker to the right on the actual kill, and then you're gonna want to go 37 frames back and add another marker. 
and split this so that you have sort of this. Now go ahead and go an additional 23 frames back from this. So we have 38 and we go to 35 right here. Go ahead and split there once again. Uh, now what we're going to go ahead and do is head it down to the presets in the description just for this video. I'm going to go ahead and download them. So the first one is going to be the over edit circle blur transition 23 frames. Just go ahead and drag that onto the first one right there. And it will look sort of like that. Now go ahead and drag the uh, the 60 frame one, the second one, on to the second chunk right there. And it should turn into something like that. Uh, now this is how it should look, roughly like that. Uh, so all is good there. Uh, now we're going to hang and do is just add our impact here towards the end. Uh, you can use whichever RGB impact you want. This particular one is in my pack, of course, but there are a couple free ones in the description as well. So you have no reason to worry about that. Uh, now that we've added the RGB impact right here and we have this circle blur transition here, uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is actually mask out the character here. So if you're masking this out uh, a new, if you don't already have like a masked out character or rotoscope character, what you're going to go ahead and do is press control, drag it up, and uh, just go ahead and head into the cropping tool right here. And then you're just going to want to press on the mask and you're going to start cutting the character out with a pencil. Now you want this to be very accurate, unfortunately. Uh, so because of this, I have gone ahead and just prepared a rotoscope for myself. But if you don't have a rotoscope, if you don't know what that is, it's essentially masking for After Effects, but it's a bit more automated. Uh, you're going to need to mask the entire thing out. So you're going to need to mask out the entire area in between these frames. I do already have my rotoscope right here. So as you can see, it is just sort of right there. I'm going to go and fade this in a bit. But yeah, it'll look like this, and hopefully once you have done whatever you need to do, once you've cropped it out, it should look like this as well. So now what we're going to need to do is I'm just going to go ahead and drag my Vegas to the second monitor that I have prepared right here. So now what we're going to need to do initially is just copy these attributes on to the, uh, this thing right here. And we're going to go ahead and delete this volume track. We're going to go ahead and add a new video track. Just go ahead and press that. Just drag that beneath these two. Just going to hit this, control, and drag it down. Now go ahead and add these attributes to this one. Just add these to both of the ones above so that you can actually see uh, sort of what's happening. Then go ahead and just delete the halftone from both of these. Uh, and now what you're going to go ahead and do is add some turbulence. So just go into your video effects tab and search for turbulence right there uh, and add a default to the bottom one. Now, uh, right here, I'm pretty sure I should have saved something already, but it appears to not have saved. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy it from my second monitor instead. So the scale is going to be 300 at max. The intensity is going to be 666 right here and the reference level is going to be 50. Uh, now go ahead and head down to the distortion. The master is going to be 225. The X displacement is going to be 15. Uh, the Y displacement is going to be zero and the re Y reference level is just as it is. Uh, now go ahead and go down to the texture geometrics and change the bubbly to smooth and change the interpolation to quadratic. Uh, now go ahead and change the turbulence to 8, uh, just like so. Now go ahead and head down to the turbulence settings right here. Change the feedback to 91. Change the subscaling uh, to 49. Change the turbulent aspect to 100 for some reason. And then 0, 0, 0, 50, that should be good. Now go ahead and head down to animation. Go ahead and change the flow rate to 8, 16. Go ahead and change the flow direction to uh, 90. That's good. Uh, now go ahead and go to the start right here. Change the morph start right there. Uh, make sure that that is set to 0 at the start. Then go ahead and go to the end. Make sure it is set to 20. Now this is going to animate it just like so. And it's going to sort of add these cool animations right there. And the morph rate is going to be 0, 10 just like so. And that is really going to be it. So now what we're going to go ahead and do 
is actually add some psycho stripes to this. So this is essentially what's going to give it all the color. So we just search for psycho stripes just like that. Uh, and you're going to go ahead and copy these settings. So just go ahead and copy all of these. I can't be asked just reading them out again. So just going to pause the video right here. But now the first thing you want to do is go down here and let's set that to scale by source. You set that to one. And it's essentially going to remove all of the background, like the stuff that's not really in the uh, the mask, whatever you call it. Uh, and now we're going to turn up the scale by source amp, and that is going to apply everything to this right here. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is just sort of add some blur to this. So let's go up into our video effects tab and search for blur, just normal S blur. Just drag the default onto it and set to 0, like 25 roughly. And this is just going to make it look sort of like that. All right, there is one thing you need to change with these Psycho Stripes. I did notice that it was a bit different, so I went and checked back. And what you need to do is set the brightness to 2, 6 instead of 1. It's going to make it a whole lot more colorful, just like that. You can also go ahead and change the saturation as well. Just go ahead and drag that up. Uh, I'm just making sure that everything is as it should be here. And it looks like it. So that should be good to go. All right, there is one more thing as well with the blur. Just go ahead and set the mix with source to 0, 0,5. It was a bit too blurred right there. And as you can see, now we have this sort of background thing that we have been waiting for. Uh, so now what we're going to go ahead and do is actually add some motion to this. So the first thing we're going to do is add some dissolve shake. So uh, let's go ahead and just add this. Just go ahead and set this to one right here. I have, uh, I think I've been keeping this secret for a while. It's only been in my pack because it's just such an amazing shake in my opinion. Uh, so what you're going to go ahead and do is just go to like sort of the start, uh, keyframe the 100 and drag that to the end and then drag this to zero and drag that there. Uh, now go ahead and add a marker here because we're going to need to add this manually to all of the tracks so it's going to be to both the uh the both of the uh the skin tracks the, the the mask tracks and also the bottom track so if you don't do this it's just going to be very inconsistent and it just won't be good so please do make sure that you do this uh now just go ahead and set these to slow all the keyframes just go ahead and set them to slow just right click and click on slow fade and now we're going to go ahead and move on to the blur mo curves so just going to go into your video effects tab and search for blur mo curves just like that and go ahead and just drag it on to the uh the track let me go ahead and just double check that the settings are fine here and just sort of what I should set it as. All right, that is sort of what I assumed. So just drag that onto the bottom track. Let's start off with that, go like two thirds in, go ahead and set the blur mode curves to like 0, 0.75, 0, 0.75, I should have keyframed it, but it's whatever, just keyframe it there, go to the start, set it to one, and go to the end and set it to one. Uh, go to the start keyframe, set it to fast, and go to the middle keyframe, set it to slow. Uh, just go ahead and add another marker here, and we're going to do this manually to all of the ones that are left as well. I know this is annoying, and it's probably something that I should have included in like a preset or something, but everyone is going to have different timings with this. Everyone is going to have a different like sort of gap here, probably. Uh, you, you don't really know what will happen, and so it's just safer for me to uh, just show it how to do manually. So uh, now once we have done this, I'm already uh, almost done. Uh, just like that. Let's go ahead and just play it back. And as you can see, let's go and just pre-render this. Just to sort of see how it looks and to make sure that everything looks good. Big head, I call her Riri. Big head, I call her Riri. Just like that. Now let's go ahead and get started with the sound design. So in the description, you will find a download link to a couple of sound effects that I have. So the first thing is going to be the Dignal Bass Swoosh. Just go ahead and add that to this part right here. Just go ahead and move it sort of like that. Uh, so let's see. Big head, I call her Riri. Yeah, that is good. And now what we're going to go ahead and do is actually add a, um, a couple buildups that I have. So we're first going to go ahead and add uh, the overhead, the overhead buildup and the trailer hit slam. Both of them are in the description, of course. I'm just going to go ahead and copy paste them down because why not? 
just like that and let's go ahead and just fade them in just uh, just fade them in just drag them like that and then just lower the volume until they sound good and then just make sure that the end on the impact so let's see how that sounds Big head, I call a re -re. Big head, I call a re uh this sounds pretty good i guess now let's go ahead and add a gunshot just to sort of tie everything together just a crisp pump kill right there and let's see Big head, I call a re -re. and that is pretty good if you ask me uh now that is really going to be it thank you guys so so much for watching today's video now there is another thing that i would like to do which is sort of the bjorn like sort of mask transition where it just sort of like slides the stuff like out of the way or whatever but spixy has already made an amazing tutorial on that and i'm not going to waste my time with something that is already made pretty much perfect already so if you want to learn how to do that on vegas pro then Spixie's tutorial link will be in the description. If you go and follow that, you will get uh, a mask transition or whatever you call it that is arguably better than the one Bjorn uses himself. So uh, yeah, that is really uh, about it. The project file will be in the description. If you are confused with everything, I will have removed my own impacts, uh, of course, because I can't really leak stuff that's in my pack. Uh, but yeah, that is really about it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. Uh, if you did enjoy, like down below, come subscribe, all the good shit. And I'll see you guys in a couple days, and peace.